What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Dr. Hammerstein and today we have a new pair of fitness band over here from Huawei and this is the latest Huawei Band 9. So in today's video, I'm going to go through all the key specs and features on this and of course to help you make your purchase decision. So yes, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off here with the packaging on this. So it does come with a nice, very clean, simple design and it does give you all the features on the back here as well. For the price point of this, it would follow definitely the Huawei Band 8, which is at about the 200 to 300 ringgit mark. That is actually a very, very good deal. So now let's check out what we have right inside this box. Okay, so first things first, we do have the warranty and safety guide. And also, of course, we do have the charger over here. So it does use an USB-A to a 2-pin here for your Huawei Band 9. All right, so here we have the Huawei Band 9 looking really, really nice. And I really like the weight to it because it does give you that kind of nice premium feel to it. Doesn't feel too cheap or too lightweight here. And I really do like the size of this screen over here. So the first thing that they have improved over the previous models is, of course, the strap here. So they're calling this the floral elastomer strap. So this is a more comfortable strap, easier on the skin, not to give you all that rash or whatsoever in case you can use it for all your daily activities and you're going to use it for long periods of time. So it's going to give you a more comfortable strap over here. It's also made out of nylon, which is really, really nice. And of course, when it comes to the body, we do have your nice 10 layer spray coating and also your laser engraving all around here to give you that nice premium finish. So we have all the sensors here, the optical heart rate sensor. We have the menu button over here as well. Nothing on the other. Also looking really, really nice and yeah, very clean. And what I like about this strap, first things first, is that you want a secure fit. So you can put it here, plug it into the buckle here, and also you can just clip it on the back to give you two secure fits on each end. So it's not gonna move around in case if you guys are into very into your sports mode or whatsoever. So yeah, it's really, really cool on this. And also you're gonna have a quick look at how this watch face is. So I selected this watch face, but of course you can select many other watch face that you want. What you need to do is of course connect this to your phone here via Bluetooth. So you have to get the Huawei Health app and you can of course get it from the Huawei app gallery, which you can download through your Google Chrome or whatsoever. And this is basically all the cool fun stuff that you will get when you use it and you connect it to your phone. So of course you have all your devices here. They'll tell you about the battery. You can change your watch face here, which is amazing. So you can go to the app store and you can find some free ones, which I do like. And also you can customize in your own time. And of course, if you guys want to have more options, you can go and buy more other watch faces over here, which would have different price point. That's all up to you. And also one thing they have updated here is the sleep breathing awareness. So over here, they call it the sleep awareness 4.0, the true sleep 4.0. And it's an upgrade from the previous version, which does use the true sleep 3.0. And of course, when it comes to the heart rate monitoring over here, we do have something again, an upgraded version. They call this the true sin 5.5, which again is an upgrade from last year's one, which is the 5.0. And it also does have your sleep breathing awareness here as well. So you can see that there are functions that which you can use here. You can go to your sleep features here, and then you can go to your heart rate and also your sports mode. So these are the four things that I do use the most. So that's running, football, indoor cycling, badminton and all that. So it will keep a good track of all your activities over here with your heart rate, calories, steps measured and all that. And also you have your weather things here. So you can see why I like this watch face a lot because it gives me a lot of things that I can really track on on a daily basis. And also, yeah, you can see all your today's stats. You can see all these other things here, distance covered, which time you move most during the day, all this cool stuff, standing modes, and you of course can set your goals whatsoever. So it's all really fun and it's really interactive as well. When you go on to the cards here, 
These are the things like I mentioned before. You have your SpO2 over here, which you can measure. So mine's at about 98%. And of course you have your stress feature over here and also your sleep mode and also the sports mode here. So this one's other stuff that your breathing exercise here as well, which you can do. And yeah, very, very informative in a very decent size screen, I would say, nice AMOLED panel sleep feature and also they have the tree ring feature which you can set a target so you can tell you how much calories you burn how much steps you have made and some of the goals that you can set over here so these are again are really really cool features that you have over here and going on to this this is where you go to your quick settings menu you can go to your ringing or whatsoever feature here and also you can have it as a torch light in case if you missed out or want to find something here so it's very very useful you change the color here which is really really fun here as well and then you have your night mode your sleep mode and all this other stuff and also your vibration timer here in case if you guys want that quick fix in case you want to do your sprinting or whatsoever and also you have your stopwatch here as well very very nice and yes we go on to the quick settings you can change your watch face always on display here as well for me i turn it off to get a little bit more battery watch face you have a few more functions here so in terms of the watch face which we are going to check out in a little bit let's go to the custom cards here <coughs> so you can add more cards to this to your menu here to give you a little bit more things and as you can see here you can customize and you can arrange it as much as you want which is all really really nice Display brightness, do not disturb, sleep mode, you can of course lock it with your pin, notifications, heart rate and all these other good stuff. So notifications would be down here. This is where all your notifications will come in. You can of course change and you can also go on to your music settings over here. So you can play certain things on your phones and it will give you the weather report here as well. And like I mentioned before, the watch face, what you do is just click and hold on to it. You can select whichever watch face you want and some of them you can actually customize on the bottom here to put some of the toggles whichever you want for me to be honest i really like this one because it's very clean very simple but it also does give you all the basic necessities that you would want with this feature here with the huawei band 9 and also one more thing the most important thing when it comes to the kind of fitness bands over here is of course the battery life so for this you can get up to two full weeks of battery over here but of course you have to save some of the battery like you're always on display and all this brightness you have to tone it down to give you a maximum of two weeks other than that it will give you about seven to two weeks of normal usage over here and one thing that always happens when it comes to huawei stuff over here is the fact that you do have the fast charging so you can actually charge it for about five minutes and it would give you one full day of usage here so you don't have to worry about it and it of course would give you a full charge here it would take up about 45 minutes and it will give you like i mentioned up to two weeks of battery life right, so that is it with the huawei band 9 i think this is a really cool all right, so that is it with the Huawei Band 9. And I think this is a really great fitness band for you fitness enthusiasts around there. You have your heart rate monitoring, SpO2, all the cool features that you would actually need. And of course, it does have 100 sports modes over here, which is really, really helpful in case you guys do a lot of different kind of activities or if you guys want to recommend to your friends. So that is it with this. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the Huawei Band 9 or if you guys have any questions on this. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, do click the like and smash the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.